Hey friends, Whew, weird lighting. Hey friends, hey guys, and welcome back to another and probably actually I know my final what I eat in a day pregnant. I am officially 38 weeks, nine months, um, large and in charge. <laughs> and I'm gonna just share with you guys what I eat in a day. Nothing super special, um, but maybe a new recipe tonight that we're trying that is viral. And I just want to show you guys what I eat in a day. I have had very minimal weight gain in this pregnancy. I am, <coughs> I am plus size and pregnant. Um, so I get a lot of questions about what I eat. And I don't, definitely don't, what is the word? Not starve myself, but like I don't go without what I want but I'm just very cognizant of how much I eat. So I'll just share with you guys what a typical day of eating in just a day with Lauren is like. So come eat with me. First meal of the day is breakfast. I had the world's worst migraine headache yesterday. It was awful. So John's making sure that I'm eating and having water and all the hydration things this morning. So he made me breakfast while I took Ella to school. Love you for that. This is my breakfast. Pineapple, trying to have a baby. Um, and a bagel thin with cheese and an egg, right? Yeah. And a body armor. This is my favorite kind. This is the light version. Um, if you get the regular version, it's full of sugar. So would suggest getting the light and they're, I would say the same. But this is my first meal of the day. Don't mind the countertop. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this in my belly. So I went to the, we went to the chiropractor. I got adjusted, I'm feeling really good. Um, I'm just trying to get stuff done around the house today. You can see our lunch back there. I did have a snack. I did have a Built Bar. Thank you, Built Bar, for partnering with me on today's video. You guys, I can leave the comments all over here. You love them, I love them, they're that good, and that's why I have absolutely no problem sharing and talking about them so much, because they're delicious. I had the carrot cake walnut one earlier today. Um, this is what they look like. If you guys wanna check them out, I have a 20% off link down below. If you click it, you get 20% off your order. They're incredible. They're low sugar, low calorie high protein the texture is a lot like in my opinion like a milky way and i have one pretty much every single day i just do like in john too i mean honestly it's just something that we grab super easy i have to have protein pretty much all the time just to keep my baseline and keep me feeling good so I always have one pretty much for my morning snack every single day. And my favorite flavors are all the fruit ones. So like Berry Barcia, um, I like the orange one a lot. Coconut's really good. I really like that fruit and chocolate mix. It's just kind of my jam right now. So make sure if you guys wanna check out Bill Bar, they're linked down below. So that's what I had earlier for a snack, but I had it on the go because we had to run to Publix and get some grocery stuff. We're just doing finalizing last minute things. I like looked around the house and realized as clean as it was, it's not clean anymore. <laughs> so we're gonna eat a little lunch. And we picked this up the other day in my Sam's haul. So we're gonna have a cauliflower, well I am. I don't know if John's gonna share with me or not, but I'm having the cauliflower crust white pizza. Also picked up this little gem. Don't, don't mind my tis the season. It's Christmas all the time. This is something I drank when I was a kid that I freaking love. Uh, people either hate it or love it, and I sometimes can't even find it anymore. I'm gonna have a glass of this. It's so good. And for some reason, it does, like, de-stress me. <laughs> I don't know if that's, like, a real thing, but it's caffeine-free. It's so, so good. So good. And when I saw it, I knew immediately that I had to have it. So I'm gonna have a little glass of this, and I'm going to enjoy this. I've never had it, so we shall see. I'll let you know if I like it or not. Now, the thing is with cauliflower pizza, it's not any better or worse for you than regular pizza, really. But, I mean, it's got cauliflower in it, so it feels a little healthier. Well, it is. It's the surface. So, like this? Like a quarter of a pizza. Yeah, so who's to say how much I'll eat? <laughs> so, this is my lunch, second meal of the day. I had to close the fridge. Hold up. This is the second meal of the day. I have tried the pizza. Nothing to write home about, but it's not bad and a sweet kale salad shouted <laughs> salad on the side <sighs> time to scarf this down i'm starving we have one two three four five bags that we need to make oh. so can you pull out five sweet tarts count how many you have one two three four five perfect Good job. two three, three, four, five. perfect 
And then. I want raspberry. I want cherry flavor. Okay, we'll get you a cherry one as soon as we're done. How many of these do we need? One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three, four. How many? You need one more? Oh, five. Seven. Erasers. Yes, these are scented erasers. Now we need five of these. Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> oh. What's it smell like? It smells like. Uh, don't eat it. <laughs> okay, well that one stays here. Count. Two. Two. Take it off. Okay. One. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, bud. You can smell it. I thought you were gonna eat it. Just worry about it. Now that. we need to do five bags. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. All right, can you write his name right here on the two? Can you write from Ella? Hey, <laughs> Ella. Good job from Ella. That's right. Mellow snap. Way to Mellow concentrate, snap. girl. Your name is Ella. Your name is Ella. That's so right. You're so smart. A. A. That's how you make an E, that's right. Circle, make a C. In a circle, that's how you make an E. There's a Y. Really good line. lowercase. Can you sign from Ella? E-L-L-A, Ella. That's right. Your lowercase E's are very good. So very good. Awesome. Look, you did it all yourself. Mm -hmm. Good job. She's doing so good in school, huh? They're twins. Oh, we're twins! Uh -huh. <laughs> Are we twins? Yeah. Yeah. What do you want for dinner? Spaghetti. Okay. It's dinner time. Mm -hmm. So we've had a very productive day. Um, all the laundry is folded. Everything is put away. Mop swept all of those fun things. I just feel so much better, but it is dinner time and we are making a different version, um, but the same. <laughs> of the viral feta tomato pasta. I talked about it the other day in a vlog and we made it the other night and it is really, really good. So we're going to make that again, which I will leave grilled cheese social. She's the one I heard about it from, um, her recipe down below, but it's this right here. It's all over TikTok. It's all over everything. Everybody loves it. It's really easy, super good. And we're gonna add like, um, hold on. We bought in bulk at Sam's. I have enough feta to choke a horse. Stupid how much feta cheese I have. For my version of it, I'm going to make the feta cheese with the pasta, and then I'm going to just cut up some of this beef kiel kielbasa and some like golden onion, brown up some onion, and we're gonna just mix it in. Super easy. But all you really do is put the oven to 400. It's really good and it does not give me, um, it doesn't give me crazy heartburn, which is always a huge plus for me because all tomato products, being pregnant, give me heartburn. Like pretty much any kind of sauce that's red, just red, gives me heartburn. So I tend to stay away from it. Miss McKenzie had some tips and she says use a smaller dish, preheat the oven to 400. We have red grape tomatoes. You just, whoa. You want a lot of tomato and you want them all to touch. That's like the goal. And then I'm going to cover that with olive oil. You use quite a bit of olive oil. Put it in the middle, put a little bit more olive oil on top. You guys have probably seen this. It's like everywhere right now. And we'll just let that cook for 30 minutes in the oven. So this is what it looks like, fresh out of the oven. I actually forgot to turn on the water to boil, but we're gonna make some rotini noodles to mix in. And I made some beef sausage and caramelized onions 
to mix in with everything, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done, but how beautiful. Oh, I wish you could smell this kitchen. So, I know it doesn't look very appetizing all mixed together, but holy crap. Cannot wait. Okay, friends, so that is what I eat in a day. It is the next day. Of course, that's how I just do things around here. Thank you for, you know, indulging me and watching these kinds of videos. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. It is the last one I'm going to be filming pregnant. So, still on Baby Watch, still pregnant. Don't you worry, we will let you know. And we will see you guys in the next vlog. Remember, down below, leave me your favorite easy dinner recipe. And we'll see you soon. Bye, friends. <laughs>